In today's video, I'm going to show you how to activate your software after purchase. So the first thing we'll do is once we've downloaded and installed the software, we need to run the software as well. So when you double click on the AutoCAD or the Inventor or the Revit software, it'll open up and the Getting Started dialog box will, will open up. On this Let's Get Started dialog box, you'll have three different options. One is to sign in with your Autodesk ID, one is to enter a serial number, and one is to use a network license. Now, the enter serial number and use a network license are the old ways of uh, activating uh, our Autodesk software, um, which are no longer relevant. So what we can do is we can go into sign in with your Autodesk ID. When you click on signing with the Autodesk ID, it'll ask you to check your browser and it will open up a, the Autodesk accounts dialog box with a sign in page. Now, if you do not have an Autodesk account, you'll have to either go and create one by clicking on create account. Um, but most likely the, the, uh, the Autodesk user who manages your licenses will have assigned the license to you and it would have been automatically created. In this instance, what would have happened is when he created the Autodesk account, he would have um, an, an email would have been sent to you asking you to say, yes, okay, great, the account's getting set up, as well as then to create a password. If either one of these two emails has not come through, then what you'll need to do is just ask the um, Autodesk account user who manages your account to resend that email so that you can get started. Um, if, if they have done that, even if you go to create account, it will say something like, you know, account pending, um, you know, waiting for user activation or something like that. Okay, so once the account has been created, then I can go and put my email address in. And, yes, yeah, so just, I can just do that. <clears throat> and then put a password in. And from here, it'll say, right, you are signed in as myself, and then go to product. Then open Autodesk Identity Manage. I say open. And what it does, it goes back to the software and it will activate it. This is provided that a license has been assigned to you. Now on the top right over here, you'll see there that I'm signed in. There's another way to check that you are signed in. If I go to the bottom over here and I double click on the Autodesk Access, you'll see that I'm also signed in over there. Now, sometimes what happens is the software or the license might get a little bit confused or it gets a little bit tied up. And in that situation, I would just suggest the following. If anything is happening to the license, then I immediately go to my Autodesk Access and make sure that I'm signed in over here. If I am not signed in into my Autodesk Access, um, then I just make sure that I sign in again. The Autodesk Access is basically the link between your Autodesk software and then the licensing system that exists on the cloud. So I can click on the little sign in button over there. It says, re it says basically goes back to that same page and what you'll notice here, it's really signed me in. It's because I recently signed in and it kind of remembers uh, across my browsers, my browser tabs, that I am signed in over here. Go to product, and then it'll go back to the Autodesk Access and sign me over here. Then what I can do, I can go back to my AutoCAD and open up. And you'll see there that it is now activated. There we go, and I'm activated over there. Okay. If your license is giving issues and you cannot sign in, uh, what I would maybe suggest is a couple of steps is once again, go to the Autodesk account and then just, well, the, the Autodesk account uh, manager is to go to their account, just unassign and reassign the licenses and see if that just resets it. Another option to do or another place to look at is just go to your Autodesk account and make sure that you've updated all the license updates over here. So that will update this Autodesk Access um, sort of uh, software. Um, if that still doesn't work and you need to reset the license, uh, there's a link um, on the Autodesk portal on Autodesk uh, product support. Um, basically, how to change or reset a license for Autodesk software. Uh, there are two different options. There's an Autodesk license support tool that you can use. Um, that's pretty simple. It downloads 
a file like this and then what you need to do is just go and double click on the license support tool that resets the license for you when that happens then when you do open up autocad again it will ask you to sign it'll give that initial dialog sign up page or getting started page where it says network license single license <clears throat> or um you know subscription license and the other way if you are feeling a little bit brave enough to do that is to go into the command prompt um, if you're on windows you'll see there there's you'll just put that into your command prompt over there and then once you've entered that you are able then to put in this command line prompt over here where your product key needs to be the product key for your um for your uh, autocad autodesk products autocad or inventor and then you need to just put in replace the year of year with the year 2025 2024 2023 so that's it so that's just a little quick video on how to get up and running on your autodesk software get it licensed as well as if you are having issues just where to go to do some troubleshooting 